What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to episode number 179, I think, of the My Player Cray Mode today. I think it's that, anyways. Anyway, we've got an important game in today's episode, as you will have known if you've been watching the past couple of episodes. You will know we take on Atletico Madrid in the round of 16 Champions League second leg. We missed the first one, guys. Um, sadly, we were injured for it. So as I said, I'll show you that now. Basically, what happened was we picked up an injury. We were then forced to sim a lot of games and the, uh, the menu doesn't seem to want to work at the minute. There we go. Uh, so we had to sim a lot of these games here, guys. And in the end, we had to sim the one against Atletico Madrid and we lost 2-0 at their ground. So... Important game today. It's going to be a tough one as well. The most likely thing is that we're going to be going out of the Champions League, sadly. But there is every chance that maybe, at a push, we could try our hand at going through to the next round. I don't think we'll do it, guys. Of course, it's going to be tough or whatever we play. I'm actually going to play six minutes for this one as well, guys, because I want to try my best at it. Um, so that's the team anyway, guys. We have to, uh, to overcome a 2-0 deficit to try and go through to the next round against Atletico Madrid. I don't see it happening. But there is every opportunity that you may be able to do it. So, without further ado, guys, I guess we'll get straight into the episode today. No messing around, no hesitation. And let's hopefully try our hand at getting past Atletico Madrid from 2-0 down. Here we are then, guys. Park de Princes, the ground, of course, having already played over in Madrid. That is the, uh, the team that they do have on the screen for you guys. Success up front with Hernandez, Theo Hernandez it is at left back. To be honest, that team there doesn't really worry me. I don't understand how we lost 2-0 to that team, if I'm being honest with you. Like, it's not a great team. It's not a team that should be beating us. So, in many ways, I would say that we are the better on the paper. But, of course, football isn't played on paper. It's played on grass. So, as I've got the uh, the boring old joke out of the way, we now have a really tough job on our hands. Trying to overcome this 2-0 deficit against Atletico Madrid and seeing if we can get through to the next round of the Champions League. As I said earlier, I'm not expecting to go through, guys. So... Whatever happens from here on out, it happens. It's going to take a large slice of luck to do uh, to do the unthinkable today, guys, and overcome them. Um, and also, we probably need quite an early goal if we had to do it. And this could be it, guys, because we've been played through. I'm on the left foot. I'm not quite as, as able on this left foot as I should be. And I can't get the shot away. Not yet. No way. My pro, instead of shooting, tried to make the tackle. He won the ball back, and it ran straight through to the keeper. First chance of the game goes begging. But as I was saying, we need a nice early goal, I think, for us to really have a, a chance at this. So uh, we need to try and create something pretty early on. And from the look of it, we're not committing too much men forward. So I'm a bit worried in that aspect of it because if you don't commit men forward, you don't get that many chances and stuff. So it is going to be tough to do this, but there is every chance we still can do it. Uh, we just need to obviously create chances. And I think the early goal is going to have to be you know, important to us. We're going to have to get an early goal. Here's Eduard on the right-hand side looking for this nice early goal for us. If it's in the first half, it'll be good as well. Eduard, why are you shooting, man? He didn't even have an angle to take the shot on in the first place, and he just decided to take it. Uh, the main reason for us not going through as well, guys, is going to be because my teammates do the most dumb, stupid stuff I've ever seen. Bakali, nice cut back on the edge of the area. Got a chance to try and curl one. There it is! Oh, I thought it had gone in. Oh, man. <coughs> I thought that was it. I thought that was 1-0, 60 minutes in. You can see the curler. It took a deflection, that, doesn't it? Oh, maybe not. Um... But yeah, you can see the curling effort going goalwards. And I genuinely thought that had snuck into the corner of the goal there. And I thought we won the up. Managed to turn in the area as well. Left foot strike. Going to be blocked on the way through. It's going to be a corner ball for us. And I have to admit, the passing from my teammates so far hasn't been good at all. They're picking the wrong passes, doing stupid stuff with it. And that's what I was expecting. And then a corner there to the near post because to absolutely nobody. It's coming to the edge of the area for me here. I'm going to try and strike it. Sadly, cleared away. Um... We do need a goal in this first half. That's one thing I want. I want a goal at least in this first half. Otherwise, second half is not going to be nice to play at all. Kovalenko, nice one across to me here. I oh, couldn't get the shot away, but Aurier might be able to. No, he doesn't quite catch it correctly at all. I'm down injured. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm getting so frustrated with this game, guys. You don't even understand. Like, I am beyond frustrated right now. I'm sat on the sideline after 33 minutes of the first half, having my teammates play idiotic passes, losing the ball in stupid areas. And now I'm on the side of play, and I'm going to bring up brought off because I'm injured. <sighs> Just games like this really do annoy me, guys. Oh, chance! Come on! Yes! We've got the goal back! We needed that one! Right on the stroke of half time. Rabio sends me through. I did just enough to get it past the defender and fire it home with the right foot. But, unfortunately, guys, we still are showing the sign of the injury, which means we may have to come off at half time because that's normally what happens. Good ball from Rabio. Still had two defenders to try and work with, though, and I did manage to get it past them. And, most importantly, found its way into the back of the net. 
which is what we had to do. Now, if this was my choice, I'd be staying on the pitch right now, even with this injury. But I know for sure I'm going to have to go off because my injury's still there at half time and the manager will bring me off. I can guarantee it. So we've, uh, we've made sure we've had an impact in the game, even if it is going to be our last impact of the game itself. Don't let them score right on the half time whistle, guys. This will be bad. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as half time comes to a close, it is 1 0 here, 2 1 on aggregate. I am going to be brought off, I think, anyway, because that's what normally happens here. Let's have a look. Please don't bring me off. There you go. Yeah, so Augustin has been the man to replace me. I don't know why I could continue fair enough. So we're going to watch the rest of the match play out because, of course, we want to see whether or not the rest of the boys can take it to at least extra time for us. Hopefully, that will be the thing to do. Oh, here we go. First chance of the second half, and it's wide of the post. And it is our replacement, Augustin, with it. It's taken literally, what, 14 minutes of this second half to even get a chance. Oh, the teammates really are stressing me out. But we finally create one there. And unfortunately for us, Augustin hits it wide of the target. Can't even hit the target with a shot. So still got a lot to work to do. And there's only 30 minutes left in the game now, guys. Kimbembe all the way back to Kovalenko. Kovalenko into Eduard. Back to Kovalenko. Come on. Do something with it, Kovalenko. Not that. That's not what you... Oh, come on, man. See what I mean, guys? Like, what's he actually trying to do here? Through to Augustin, who strike again. This time it's blocked. But you see what I mean? Like, your teammates in this game just don't do the, the, the right stuff. Like, why he held on to it for so long there? I understand maybe he's trying to pick his pass, but even so, just shoot. Just hit the ball, man. And that is all she wrote, guys. There you go. Oh, Fleck Madrid have got the ball. We're in the 90th minute. Any time now, the referee's going to bring the game to a close. And it's been a disappointing one again because since I've left the field of play, we have done absolutely nothing to try and get ourselves into this game at all. So we are sadly out of the Champions League. I said I wanted to try and win it in our final season. It's not going to be possible because we are out to Atletico Madrid. Damage done in the first leg where I didn't even play. So if you can't tell by my voice, guys, I really, really am not enjoying playing this right now. I don't know what it is. I just can't seem to get the luck I need in the My Player career mode at the moment. And, um, of course, we are coming towards the back end of it. So, maybe it's because I've got one eye on FIFA or something. I don't know. But, seriously, man, we're not playing well at all. And uh, there's not actually too many more games to come here. So, it should not be uh, too long now before we end off with the stream. Uh, of course, though, I, um, I am going to be, uh, obviously, doing like an, a separate video where we look at like the best goals and stuff. But, I don't know if you guys just saw that comment, right? Enforce break, bruised elbow. If I had a bruised elbow in real life, I would continue playing. It's utterly ridiculous. And this means now because of our bruised elbow, guys, that we can't play against St. Etienne. Brilliant. So I'm having to sim it, and we're probably going to lose. Hoffman starts up front instead of Augustine today. Lads, please, just, just don't let me down. Just win the game, please. I can't, like, I, don't, I can't put my finger on what's wrong at the moment. I don't know what's going on, why we're playing so bad. But at least win this game for us, please, lads. And they've taken the lead through Bamba. So San Etienne do have the lead here 44 minutes into the game. Are we going to get back in it or are we going to suffer a defeat here? So it's going to be the second time in the episode where we're left disappointed. Edouard does pull one back on the 80th minute. So we do end up with a 1-1 draw. 10 minutes from time, he did get a goal back for us. So not all is lost in that one. Um, I have no idea how the Paris manager can be critical of my performances when the team in general are not playing at all. Very well, indeed. So... Yeah, after 30 league games, though, we've got seven points clear at the top. So hopefully we will have secured a, uh, a, a league title, if you will. And I suppose we're still in the semi-final of the cup. So we can still off, uh, end off on a good note, even if that is the case, you know, that we're not in the Champions League anymore. We can still end off on a good note. All right, to lose our next opponents, guys. And uh, they have very similar kits to us, actually. I'm going to have to wear... Ooh, this is kind of close. I'm going to have to wear my alternate one, and they're going to have to wear their away one. Um... Yeah, they had pretty similar kits, to be honest with you, um, in terms of like their home one and their pink one, and the other one as well. And if you don't know, I'm colorblind, guys, so some colors kind of get me a little bit. Like, I could tell the difference there, but in-game it might have been a bit different. So, that's the team we've got anyway, guys. Next game coming up against Toulouse. Hopefully, we will actually do something in this one, not just score a goal and then go out of the Champions League. How about that, guys? At least, teammates, can you give me a pass that's not gone astray or anything? Like, Rabio set me up for the opening goal, but I still have a lot of work to do. You know, it wasn't exactly an easy chance. There is the Toulouse FC team for you guys on the screen. I know of Blin. I've used him before in a previous series. So I do recognize his name. Other than that, not too much to recognize. So hopefully having a better game for you guys in this second one of the episode. And at least do something that's uh, enjoyable and entertaining for you guys to watch at home. Good work from Edouard there. And the right foot strike comes in. I've got to be honest. I didn't want to take it right footed. I meant to take that left footed. 
But the keeper still had to make the save regardless. And we got a lot of luck there as well with the defender falling over his feet. Um, otherwise, the chance wouldn't have uh, been as easy for me. I wouldn't have had as much space. Um, good work from Eduard, though, I have to say. Finding me in the area. Um, I was not expecting to get the pass across. But then I can't understand, as I say, why it took it right footed. I did try and set it up on my left. Sadly, though, it took it right footed. Oh, no. What is our goalkeeper doing there? Honestly, this is a bit ridiculous now. Stop it, game, please. A touch. There we go. Oh, my goodness me. He saved it anyway. I thought I was going to be 1-0. I even started celebrating, saying, there we go. And then I hit it straight at the goalkeeper. What an absolute mug. What am I doing, guys? What is wrong with me? I can't, I can't play at the minute. I don't know why. I'm just not playing well at all. Uh, curl that one in. Never mind. Cleared away. Rabio, Shoot. Maybe. Nope. Doesn't choose to. Decides to cut it backwards. Let's see what he's going to do with this one. Probably give it straight to our opponent. Apparently not. Nope. Gives it off to Aurea. Aurea into Hesse. Hesse then does give it away. And our opponents will come away with the ball. I have no idea what is why I'm playing so badly. On the defender we go. Left foot again. This time it's over the top of the... For goodness sake. I can't. I can't. I just can't get... The break that I need right now, guys. I don't know what was wrong. It's like overnight I've gone from being able to play, I don't know, FIFA to like, just, yeah. What is wrong with me? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm going to blame it on the pad, right? This time it's going to be the pad's fault. Not my fault. It's the pad's fault, guys. <laughs> I, I actually cannot play FIFA at the moment. I don't know what's wrong with me. Nice work, Eduard. Now does take the shot on, and it is at the near post. Keeper gets down low and makes a save. I mean, we've had chances today. You can't deny that. We have had chances to take the uh, to, to take the, take the win from this game. Oh, come on. Get a shot away, actually. Clean. Eduard now over the top. It is blocks. It will be another corner ball. This time, I'm stood over this one. Don't really want to be, and that's why. Ah, oh, dear me. Another poor performance from us. Settles another game to a 0-0 draw. There it is, guys. Confirmation of the 0-0 draw, even after having as many chances as we did. I mean... I can't even complain at my team for that one. I had about three or four shots in there, and I still missed them because I suck at this game for some reason at the minute. I can't get the, uh, the breaks I need. However, guys, I'm going to take a look now to see what our calendar looks like in terms of our fixtures, and then I'm going to make a decision whether or not we're going to play another game in this episode because I do want to have, like, a bumper stream for the last episode or something. Um, so that'll probably be it, and then I'll make a decision based on that. So we've got... I'm not going to play those games for England. We've got uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Do you know what? I think I'm going to leave the episode here and then I'm going to stream it. I'm going to send these two games for England here because we're not going to play it. So that's that. That's done. Um, so there we go. Yeah, okay. So both the games for England, we're not bothered about. We're not playing another season anyway. Uh, so that'll be that. Or do I play one more game? No, okay. Here's what I'm going to have to do, you guys. I'm going to play one more game in this episode, which is this one here. Then, for episode 180, that will be the final episode of the series. And I'm going to live stream it for you guys at home. It's going to be like a bumper live stream. We're going to play it all in one episode. Um, that will most likely be on Sunday afternoon slash evening. Um, mainly because I don't know if I'm going to be here on Saturday. So... This goes up on Thursday, and then on the Sunday, probably, will be the live stream as to uh, when we are going to be going live to do the entirety of the episode. So I'm going to play this game here against Angers. Then we're going to come back, and we're going to have, like, a bumper live stream as episode 180 to end the series off for you guys. And then, of course, after that, we'll do, like, the best moments bits, the best goals and stuff, and you guys can, uh, can kind of, like, vote on it, I guess. But, yeah, last game here for the episode. Then we'll live stream episode 180 for you. And the first chance of the game does go our opponent's way as well. So, again, we've started this game off exactly the same way we've been playing recently. And it is really annoying me now because I can't... I don't know if the same, if I've um, if I've done something by changing it from normal to fast or whatever. You know, because you can, like, change the game speed and stuff. I mean, as far as I'm aware, I haven't changed anything. But the gameplay feels different. I don't know what it is. It just feels a lot different. Either that or my team's got worse and we're just getting smashed every game. That also could be a thing that's happening because, yeah. Um, but right now, I've literally had nothing. 39 minutes of me running around like a headless chicken, trying to find something go our way. Because when we get the ball, this is what happens. Hesse then passes it to our opponents, and they go up the other end and have a chance. This is what it's been like for the last 41 minutes, guys. There was our first real chance to show you, 
And uh, it came from me running it in from the left-hand side and shooting my right. And he went off target. Um, when I say we haven't had a shot, guys, we have had shots. But when I say uh, nothing real to show you, they've been really bad shots. Like straight at the goalkeeper or wide at the post or just not worth showing you. So, again, I can't put my finger on why, but we're not playing well enough. And the episodes, for me, personally, playing them, I don't think they're entertaining. And the, the one thing that annoys me so much is I want to give you guys entertaining content. And uh, right now, I don't feel like it is that entertaining. It's just me seemingly moaning every single episode we have right now. So, yeah, I apologize for that in advance. But honestly, guys, like, I'm not enjoying playing this. So, surely, it's not that enjoyable to watch when we're getting nil-nil draws constantly. I'm honestly sick to death as well, guys, of receiving instant one-twos. When you play a pass on your teammate, you're not even asking the ball back, and then they instantly give it you back. Like, you're not in position to have it back either, but they instantly side. You know what? Screw it. Give him it straight back when he's running into a defender. And then you just lose it straight away. Like, that is one thing as well that's annoying me at the moment. As you can probably tell by my voice, everything's annoying me this series right now. And it's simply because we're not playing well yet again. Apparently, that's secured as the league title. In which case, the next stream, you guys already know that we've secured the league title. I don't know if that is what the case is. Because my teammates are celebrating there. Whether or not that is actually the thing that has happened. Um, but regardless, another nil-nil draw. And I'm sure you guys are really entertained by this. I apologise for my saltiness or sarcasm or anything like that. But seriously, guys... It is getting to the point now where I'm sick of playing this now. And I know we've, we've spent 180 episodes, so there was a time bound where this would happen. But even so, it's to the point where I just don't want to play. So we are going to save the last games, guys, for one bumper stream for you all. Um, and then that hopefully, you know, you guys will enjoy that. As it currently stands, we're only three points clear at the top of the table. So if we keep drawing games, we're going to keep dropping points. Like, for example, let's actually look at our current form where we've played. Neil no draw against Angers. Nil no draw against Toulouse. One more draw against St Etienne, which I didn't even play in. Three no win there, I didn't even play in. Then we had a nil no draw against Bordeaux. Nil no draw against Mont Montpellier. And then I didn't play in these ones. And then we ended up with, that was the final game we played. So our last four league games that we have featured in have been nil nil draws. What the hell is that about? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. As I said to you, this has come out on a Thursday. I am going to live stream... Um, on Saturday or Sunday, I'll make a video explaining it, like, uh, I guess, announcing the live stream on whichever day I will be going live. So if you guys want to make sure you want to tune in, there will be a video explaining it and stuff when I go live. Hopefully you still enjoy this episode. Um, as I said, uh, it's annoying because I want to give you guys entertaining content. And I understand, of course, Neil No Draws aren't the most entertaining thing in the world to watch. But if you have done, a like would be greatly appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so much for all of your continued support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you all in that live stream, hopefully, in the next coming days. Catch you later, guys. Adios!